Hey guys, it's Sean Knight. Um, today, I just finally completed my whole uh, carbon fiber wrap of my interior trim pieces, except well, the main one, of course, because that one is going to be impossible to do, but I got all the rest, all the doors, the, and I'm sorry I'm using the light, but I got the doors, the door handles, the light uh, switch, and then I got the radio controls, and then the trim piece on the dash. And today, uh, I've been reading a lot about forums about Vauxhall, Opel, and uh, Saturn owners who have the Astra who are trying to like do all this like trim work and it, they're running into problems. So I'm going to kind of tell you guys how you, how, uh, or at least tell you guys how uh, I did it and if it helps you, great. And if anyone has ideas about this, that would be great. I have no idea how to remove it. And I read on forums you got to remove uh, the airbag and because you can't pry this off because it's going to ruin your airbag. So, um, if anyone can give me an idea of what I can do with this, that'd be great. Um, I was thinking about filing it down. I bought an emblem here that I was going to put, but I'm still trying to figure it out. So, if anyone can give me a suggestion, that'd be great. But today, I'm going to show you guys about who all own the Astra H, um, three-door or two-door, how you guys wrap your trim. Now, there, of all the pieces I did, I only removed, um, well, I guess four. I removed the door handles, both of them, and then I removed these two, and then I guess that's so I guess, I'm sorry, that would be five. I removed five pieces, and for these ones, I couldn't remove, so the top door trims I couldn't remove. And this wrap that I bought is from Amazon.com. It's a 3M vinyl carbon fiber wrap. It's fairly expensive. It's like 70 bucks, but again, I found it on Amazon. I couldn't really find it on eBay, so just, uh, I don't know. I forgot what it's directly uh, called, but I'll figure it out, and if anyone has questions, I'll definitely uh, tell them what I bought. But for um, what you want to do is when you buy this stuff, it's going to come in a roll, and it's going to be like almost like a vinyl. It's got to peel off back. And what you do is you want to grab your trim pieces. I did these first, and the simple way to remove these is you want to just, you'll find like a lip underneath it, and you want to take both hands, and you just push up. So you're going to see there's like a lip. There's like a, like a set there. As you can see, there's two. I got that color and that color. Well, there's like a lip here, and you, you can feel it. All you do is you just basically pull up, uh, you push down on here and you pull up with your thumb and it'll just snap off and you just do that with both of your hands It'll feel like it's not gonna come all of a sudden and it will and once you do that what you want to do is um, You want to have a heat gun when you're doing all this stuff And this is how I did all my trim pieces is you want to heat up the plastic first like the the door handle you want to heat it up And then you also want to heat up the wrap and this will get it like really flexible because otherwise it's really stiff. But man, this stuff like I'm not kidding, guys. It it doesn't bubble or anything. It's so nice. And what you want to do is well, first I should have said is that you want to clean off all the oils on your door handle because if you got Armor All or whatever you use, um, it's not going to stick. So you want to clean it off. I always use rubbing alcohol or mineral spirits will do. But you got to be careful because sometimes it'll eat the paint if you have uh, special stuff. So I I stick with rubbing alcohol. I rub I uh, rubbed alcohol on it and I got it all clean and I could feel it that it wasn't like grimy so once I got it I heated up the door handle and then I wrapped it and what you want to do is you're going to notice that it's going to bubble when you're wrapping it and all you do is you just pull back on it and you kind of heat it with the heat gun and then you're going to crease out it's simple and once you do that you wrap it and then and you just put it back on like that as for these pieces you can't remove uh, the top door trim you can't remove unless you remove the whole entire door and they're like plastic welded on so what I did is I did the same thing as I did that. I cleaned the initial piece of the trim, and then I heated it up with my heat gun just so I got it warm, and then I heated up the vinyl and got it warm, and then I just laid it all the way down. And what I took is I took a credit card, and I just pushed it in here. And you want to do this really carefully because this stuff is going to bend, and if you push too hard, it's going to crack, actually. So I just did is I just pushed it all the way in, and I kept doing it and kept doing it all the way down. And then once I was done, if I had any big pieces, I just uh, trimmed it off with a, a razor that I had, like a, a exacto knife. And so that's how I did that. And you can see that it's pretty flush throughout. And like I said, I never took the trim piece off. I kind of forced it. And you can see that there, you can form a gap in between it. And up here it was a little hard, but I'm not kidding. It looks pretty new, uh, realistic. I mean, I know the carbon fiber is really expensive and all, but so that's what I did is I. And you don't want to like have a huge piece. You just want to, you know, you just want to lay it out the sides and then just trim it and then put it on there and then use like a credit card to like smooth out the edges and stuff and then just force it through here and then cut it. And this thing took me forever to figure out how to get off until I finally found it on a forum. For all you people out there, these things are kind of stupid as hell. This is your light cluster and you see you can have auto off and then these other two settings. So what you have to do is 
um, well, I'll just keep it at zero right now. What you want to do to get this thing off is, see, you can't pry it off at all. It's impossible, and I tried and tried. So what you want to do is, anyone who has a light cluster, to, or this, or, you know, you just turn this to the left as far as it'll go. So, uh, so I think some of the Euro models don't have auto, and they have uh, the circle. But anyways, you want to turn it as far left as you can. You want to push it in, and it'll actually go in. See? When you push it in, turn it as far as you can to the right as it's pushed in. And then you'll... Oh, I see. I missed it up here. And then you want to push it in. It's kind of hard. And then just keep it and turn it right. And then kind of just... It'll let go. And if it stays in there, you can pull it out. And all you do is you just pull it out like this. And now you got your trim piece off. And then you can work on it and then carbon fiber wrap it like I did. And it was okay design, but I couldn't figure out how to get off the the circle the main like uh, circle switches there so I had to cut around and it was a pain so then just to put it back in you just you know center it again and then just pop that out and you'll be good to go and she isn't gonna come out and then as for these these are simple to move, remove I think it was a Torx 20 or 25 but if you look behind here there, there's a little like screw hole there and you just shove it, uh, something in there. What I did is I turned my steering wheel like all the way up and then I went down here and I shoved uh, the Torx screw in. I think it's a Torx 20, but I pushed it in and then I just unloosened it. And what these will do is they'll slowly but surely loosen up. And then you don't pull straight out, pull this way. Because if you pull straight out, you're going to break uh, uh, the connector like I did. So you have to pull like sideways and then the, there's a clip on the back and you can just remove that. And then from there I just wrapped it and this one actually turned out really nice as, as you can kind of see. It looks like real carbon fiber. And the same thing with this side, you just pull out this way instead. So as for these pieces, you can actually remove this trim, but holy crap, it is impossible. You have to remove this whole entire console because right behind here there's, an, <laughs> there's a screw. And that's a way you can pop it off. All I did was like the same process over there. I cleaned it up, and then I heated up the plastic, and then I heat up the vinyl, and then I like got it to size, and I laid it out, and then I kind of just forced it in with a credit card. And you can do that all the way, and then down here you just uh, you know force it in again like that. And so that's how you basically do the trim. If everyone has any questions, that's what I did. Is uh, so you just want to remember you want to clean it. But those are the only two trim pieces you can get off of the door handles. This thing. And these. Um, other than that, that it was, uh, it took me, I don't know, probably 10 hours to do all this stuff, and I just sat here uh, after work and I did it, and kind of look, it looks pretty nice. I mean, if you're standing from outside, it looks like real carbon fiber. So, and uh, as for people who have Saturn Astras like me, you can buy the Vauxhall front grill like this one. This is an authentic one, and they're almost impossible to find because for all you Saturn owners out there, it's a seven billet or seven prong there's like one right here and there's seven of them if you go online and ebay and you buy a six one it isn't going to fit none of these are going to work because we have a facelift model and that comes off the five door opal and Vauxhall in europe this is a facelift bumper and you could tell if a grill has facelift if it's got this bottom piece of trim and this is all from research i did so somehow i found a guy in ebay uh he was a good guy i uh, um he was like in uh, i don't know like one of, it was by in London, in one of his towns, and he and I bought it for him, uh, from him. I'm sorry for two hundred dollars, and he shipped it. That's with shipping, and that's the cheapest I ever found it. And uh, so what you want to do is you just want to keep looking for it. Um, I had my Saturn grill here. I don't know where it is, but I wanted a Vauxhall one, so I took uh, took it off and put it on. And these things are easy to get off. There's two screws. There's one here and one over there, and you just kind of lift this thing out. You don't really have to pry or anything, but. There, I got my front Vauxhall, and then as for the back, um, it's plain. I removed the Astra, I meant the Saturn emblem, and then I removed the Astra logo, and then I also put the VXR sticker on, and these are all from eBay. Um, to remove these, those are quite simple, those uh, emblems that you see that were like uh, here. All you do is you heat them up with a heat gun, try not to get your paint. Actually, I should have said this first, you want to wash your car. And make sure you don't have like any wax or uh, sort of some sort of a substance. And you want to heat your emblem up with a heat gun. Um, just keep it at distance so you don't melt it. And then you can actually start to turn it. It's really weird. And then what I took is I took fishing line. I put fishing line behind it and I just went over it. And then the emblem fell off. But then I had all this glue left. And it, so then I went to Walmart and I bought this 3M adhesive remover. And it removed all the adhesive on there. But it's kind of a lengthy process. So I did that. And after that, I did that. I of course put a little sticker on. It's 
uh, the Nuremberg sticker. And then I uh, changed out the top of the antenna here. Uh, it's a short stubby. I got that from Europe again. Uh, you can probably buy them here too. And then for here, I, cu I custom made my own brake uh, light thing. It just says VXR on there. I know this isn't a VXR. And then I bought this um, Vauxhall Motorsports. That was from Europe. And I just slapped that on there. It has one on the other side as well. And then I removed the GM badge here. Uh, the same process I said back there. Other than that, everything um, is stock. The engine stock. The Z, uh, I think it's the X18R motor. I think that's what it is. Or ZXE. I forgot what it's called. But it's a 1.8. No turbo, of course. Uh, but yeah, if you guys ever have any questions, just let me know. This is how I removed all the trim pieces. And uh hope you guys uh, enjoyed it.